hi you guys welcome back to my channel so today I am going to be showing you how I trim my ends uh, as you can see my hair is kind of dry um, I just washed it yesterday and I had into two ponytails to stretch it out so here's a close-up of my ends they don't look so bad but they do feel bad like my ends feel like really dry and crumbly and they've been feeling that way for a while now so I decided to trim my ends because my hairstyles have not been coming out the way I want them to and I know it's because I need a trim. In ways that you know you need a trim is if you can just simply feel your ends and they even after you moisturize them they still feel dry. So that is a good sign that you need to trim your ends. Another way you can tell you need to trim your ends is if you see that right there it's all see through at the end. So we're going to clip all that off today. You want to start off on freshly washed hair. My hair was washed yesterday and I did moisturize it after I washed it. I'm not going to use any products on my hair right now because I want to feel the dry brittle ends and I don't want any moisturizers to mess that up. So here's a close up. This is how small I'm of a section that I'm working with first. Um, you don't want too big of a section. You want them quite small and this is what we'll be clipping off today. You're going to need some water and then you're going to need a good pair of shears, a comb and brush and moisturizer and oil. So you're first going to wet that section of hair with just water, nothing else. And then you're going to twist it all the way down to the ends. And then you're going to, right when you feel that dry part of your ends, you want to stop. Don't You don't have to twist that part. And then you're going to clip it off. So that's how your ends should look after you clipped off that thin dry area and now you're just going to untwist it and feel it when you untwist it to make sure that it's no longer dry at the ends and then I'm going to take my moisturizer put that on a section and then my oil and put that on a section and then I'm going to twist it back up and then I'm going to go to the next section The comb and the brush is optional as you can see I didn't comb through that first section just because I didn't need to so if you don't have to comb through the section you can feel like you can just run your fingers through it to detangle it and do that because it's unnecessary to use a brush or a comb if you don't need to but I know in the back sections I am going to need a comb because I have more of a coarse texture in the back. So I'm repeating the same steps I just sprayed it with water and now I'm twisting it up and as you guys can see I'm going to have like a really thin spot at the bottom my ends are going to be thin and kind of dry looking so I'm just going to take my shears again and cut that little thin part off so now I'm left with full thicker ends <laughs> pretty much so now I'm just going to put my moisturizer on there and my oil and twist it back up this did take me quite a bit of time. I think it took me like a little over an hour to do this. It um, So if you are in a rush, I don't recommend doing this while you're in a rush. You definitely want to take your time with this because you don't want to chop off too much hair and then you don't want to chop off too little because then that will be pointless. And this video is for people that need to do like small trims, not really big trims. I highly recommend you do have enough time to do this. You know, it's just kind of tedious. <laughs> So you want to make sure you're doing it right and I tell you guys my hair was so soft like my ends were so soft after this they felt amazing like it was awesome so you definitely do want to take your time with this and make sure you're doing it right. So this is my hair after I'm all finished um, if you need to twist your hair back up and clip it off again just because you still feel any dry areas by all means do that because I did have to do that with some of my sections but this is the finished results as you guys can see my ends are juicy moisturized and look at this twist out like <laughs> I was not expecting my hair to be like this after I clipped my ends like my hair formed into a twist out just that quick I only my hair wasn't even washed or nothing so I'm really impressed at how my hair even curled up like this and I wasn't even attempting it to <laughs> so yeah this is my hair after my trim and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions leave them down below and I'll see you guys in my next video bye